Um, welcome, I think, to the last part uh, of uh, JBoss Tomcat MySQL HTTPS. Maybe there will be more if you want to know something, something more. So this part is about the advantages of using this bundle. So this is why we should better use this bundle than to separate uh, MySQL and Tomcat, in this case, uh, Wildfly. Uh, the advantages are that we have the connection pool and it means we don't need to use the name of MySQL user, the URL, the password inside of our application. We just ask Tomcat to give us the connection. Uh, Additionally, in this video, I will show you, maybe this is interesting for uh, some of you, uh, that uh, we will uh, set up our uh, MySQL without my PHP my admin. We will just use the comments of MySQL. This is possible, so I will show you. It is faster. We don't need to create new pods. So let's start. First, we'll create our application. I will call it Tom Test, uh, let's see, 10. Doesn't matter what is the name here. So we have our uh, application created. I tested it before and I see sometimes it works slow. So when there will be some problems, I will just cut this video and return with the working uh, application. So let's start with uh, the setup. So we choose the project, the name, so on, blah, blah, blah. And then we start with the Git repository. I will use my own repository. You will find the, the link to this repository if you want to use it in the description. You see it's called connection pool because this is the main advantage of this of this bundle. So put it here, connection pool. Then think about it, delete the git reference and delete this directory. Of course, if when you have the, your programs in directories, you keep it. But if in most of cases you will have in the in the in the main directory of your git repository so next here is something interesting we will not change it you can change it but better not so and this is the place where we create a db j and di uh, environment variable with information about our data sources then let's come to the database name in this case i will just keep root i would like to show you something different you can choose whatever you want but just keep in mind uh, what was the what was the name because we will use it one time not in the program just one time then we have our secret you know from the previous elements and then when you go down you see here you have minimum and maximum pool size you can set up as you know uh, we can set up in Tomcat the maximum and minimum pool size you can choose what you want but if you don't change it, the system will use the, the default. And now we now we go to username and password. And in this case, I will use the dynamically generated uh, values. Uh, and uh, you will see that we will use it only one time when creating our databases. But we will never use it inside of our application. It will be used by the Tomcat. And Tomcat will just take... Uh, these automatically generated values and then scroll down there is nothing else what we can use so let's click on create now, of course I will copy this part because here is the name of our our user and uh, the password of the MySQL server user let me save it somewhere here just make it a little bit bigger so I can see it uh, just with you can see it too. So, and then close. First of all, we go to the application. You see, most of cases, uh, MySQL starts immediately. Yet it's not start. So let's go to the resources and to the secrets. And let's ask create the strange secret. The name of the secret is uh, here JWS secret. Okay. Copy it and create it fast. Webhook, this name. You know it from the previous videos. And let's create it. Go to overview. Okay, you see our MySQL pod is working here. 
and we are waiting for Tomcat. Today I have a lot of problems with Tomcat, so maybe I will need to, to rebuild it. Okay, let's 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 wait. Before we go there, I will just show you my application and I will show you how to to set up the MySQL. Maybe we start with MySQL. So we don't want to use PHP my admin because uh, maybe we don't like it. Or maybe we don't want to create new pod and then scale down, scale up. Ah, okay, so let's do it. Uh, let's do it uh, directly here uh, inside of uh, of our of our of our pod. So let's click on the pod and click on the terminal. So let's go to the main directory. I'll ask. This is our MySQL pod, and uh, we will uh, now connect to the database using this terminal and load uh, our data. So let's uh, now we will use the MySQL command, but before we do it, we will need to download our files with our database. So most of you will use wget, but we don't have wget installed here. We have curl, so we will use curl here. But okay, where are our data basis settings? So in my case, I have here in SQL the file llcsql and I would like to download this file, but not exactly this file. Don't copy this URL because it will give you the whole page but we want only this file here so click on the row here and just copy this URL and return to our to our uh, uh, terminal but where to save it let's go to the TMP maybe and then and cut here for example data just create a directory for it. We don't need to keep it later. And then you see URL, and the first is our URL. You see the row in front of the address. This is important. Then minus minus output. And then the name of the file llc.sql. Just, I will keep the the old name. So now ls, and you see we have this file. Let's see what we have inside of it. Cat llcsql, and you see this is exactly exactly my file. This is nice. So we have our file, and now I would like to uh, execute some this inside of my SQL. So we will need to connect to our S. Uh, MySQL and we will use the, the automatically created uh, user and password. So my SQL, then minus U, and then okay, sorry, my SQL minus U. What is the user? Let's go here, and the user is we have two, two users here, two users. So uh, the first one, this is the user, control C. Or V and then minus P because we will use password and then set up the name of your database and as you remember I haven't changed it so this is this is root enter and then I need the password of course I don't remember the password but this is the only one place where I use the password copy and paste and we are here so we are inside of our uh, our um, uh, MySQL uh, server, in fact. Uh, so let's <coughs> now execute our uh, commands from our SQL file, and we will use it uh, using source command and then LLLC SQL. This is the name. I am exactly in this directory in this moment, so I can use it in this and then enter. And you see, we executed everything, and it looks. Okay, so everything is here created. Let's go back to our uh, our uh, our application. You see uh, this problem. So what what I will do? 
let's go to this build. I will cancel this build. Okay, uh, where is it? Sorry. Or I can cancel it. Sorry, this is yes. No, no, no. I, can, I can cancel here. Sorry. I just search for a button and then go to the the builds one more time and click on. Oh, we can stay here. Click on the rebuild. Just build it one more time. Now I hope it will work. But just waiting for this, this the second build. Let's go to my sources. I would like to show you the differences what I have in this in this in this uh, example. Oh, sorry, this is not here. Let's go back to the. Okay, this is it. So you see, in my uh, sources, there is no this DB info with the information about the connection, about user and password because I never use it. Uh, I have only this DB connection Java class where I just get and return. Uh, information about the connection so let's click here what i have here this is my class i have a static function which returns our connection and first i just look up uh, the data source and the function lookup data source is the following you see i uh, create the initial context and then from in the initial context I look up what for and you see this is the variable in our environment which we created uh, inside of the initializing form when you created our application this is the standard uh, standard uh, way I copied it in fact from the the, the quick start of uh, of OpenShift so this is it. So I have this function here, get connection. You see, there is no username, no password. So this is get connection. Let's go back to my source and, for example, click on list product when I need the connection. And you see in list list products, what I do, I just take my DB connection file and call the static function get connection, and I have my connection. And then I use this connection you know, statement, connection, create statement, and so on, and so on. And so, uh, so this is how my application looks like at this moment. So I have no information about about names, password, and so on and so on. But wait, there are. Oh, maybe you see our pod is working now. Just just click on this first link. Don't touch the second one. Okay, it was too fast. Maybe let's refresh it several times. Okay, and then list of course my data. Sorry, uh, list my database is empty, and then add new, for example, new book. The new book description and the price will be four five six. Submit and we add it to the database and that list, and you see we have our our uh, product in our uh, database so as you can see i i created my database uh, not database my tables without php my admin is nice so uh, now uh, okay we don't uh, use anywhere the password the, the 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 username the name of the database so where they are they must be somewhere saved and of course they are inside of our pod so let's click on the tomcat pod and go to the terminal one more time so okay let's go to the main directory and this is what we have in the main directory uh, so as you can remember then when you have access to the configuration files of Tomcat, you can set up the connection pool inside of the context XML file. So let's try to search for this. So find dot, think about it, we are in the, the, the root directory, uh, minus name, and then context dot XML. Okay, okay, there are some uh, some directories where I don't have access, but we have this directory. So let's copy and then let's go to this directory. LS, and you see all the configurations files of uh, of, of, of of Tomcat. 
So let's see what we have inside of this context XML cat. And you see what we have there. Are, uh, this, this file is really, 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 really small. But, okay, what do you have? First of all, username name is our username. Password is our password. And URL, you see, is our root here as a URL. So Tomcat set up everything for us. So we don't need uh, we don't need to to add any any additional data to our application. Of course, when you set up the the minimum size of the pool maximum, you will see this data here. So uh, this is all for today. You see it works. I think some of you will like this uh, this this MySQL setting without PHP my admin. Uh, I think this is so. This is the, the last part of, of this bundle uh, videos. Uh, but if you have any questions, just write it in the description. You will see also there, uh, no, in description comments. In description, you will see uh, the link to my application. Uh, maybe there will be something more interesting. So I will, I will try to create a new video. So thank you for watching and, and see you.